Hey everybody, welcome back to Sueño de Vida here in the cloud forest of Ecuador. Land regeneration. So um, I focus a lot in my agroforestry videos on food crops uh, using pioneer plants like bananas and plantains and cassava root as pioneers. And here we have one that's not edible, but still makes a really excellent pioneer plant. Here they call this mata raton. It's a leguminous plant. Um, it grows very easily from cuttings. It just propagates from cuttings. Just come on with me. We'll give you a little view of this is our sort of like our understory food forest here. We've got pineapple. We've got a lot of colorful, uh, I guess you could call them like ornamental plants in this area, but they attract a whole lot of birds, especially hummingbirds. So it's a very beautiful area. The vegetation here is very dense. We have a uh, naranjilla, turmeric, ginger, taro. So just giving you and I, I guys an idea of some other understory plants that you can use in your regeneration system. Turmeric, ginger, taro, pineapple, all great stuff. Uh, lots of bright flowers to bring in the pollinators and the beneficial bugs. And then here we have the matoraton. They call it matoraton here in, in Ecuador because it's known for being able to uh, keep away rodents. Female mice will nibble on the roots of the tree and uh, it sterilizes them so they don't have more mice. So that's why it's called the matoraton. It doesn't really kill the rats. Matoraton means to kill a rat. But it sterilizes the females, which means that you have less rats. The leaf smells delicious. It smells like fresh peas. It propagates very easily from cuttings. So you just cut a stick like this, stick it in the ground, and a couple months later you have another whole tree growing. So uh, what my partner Juan is doing here is taking off. We're making cuttings to plant them out in other places of the land. And he is uh, shedding off the leaves for me and putting them down in a little garden patch that I made. You might remember back in my biochar video, I made some uh, charcoal here on the ground. So what we're doing is we have a small plot here. It's not a big plot, but we're enriching this to make an intensive bed for pineapples. I think I'm going to interplant pineapple and turmeric here in this uh, intensive bed with some Malabar spinach. So the soil here is already doing really great. It's nice and loose. You can see it's got tons of organic matter in it. And now what we're doing is we're adding to it by putting uh, the leaves of the Matoraton down on it because these are very, very rich in nitrogen. Uh, it's a nitrogen fixing plant. The roots fix nitrogen in the ground. And uh, well, they don't really fix nitrogen. They exude sugars that attract bacteria that fix nitrogen. Let me say that the right way for all you soil microbiologists out there that, you know, might be watching and want to correct me in the comments, okay? So at any rate, that's what really happens. If you're not a soil microbiologist, don't worry about it because you don't really need to know that. All you need to know is that nitrogen is really lacking in tropical and subtropical soils because of the heavy rains. It all leaches out. So the more you can add nitrogen to your soil with a compost and mulching down nitrogen-rich leaves like this, the better off you're going to be. Okay, so having seen this uh, process of putting the madre de cacao on the ground, the nitrogen-rich mulch, the question that obviously might come up is, is this scalable? Can this be made to scale? So make sure you check out my very next video that I'm uploading as the companion to this one to answer that question, are natural fertilizers, can they be scaled up? Check that out next. Hey folks, so thank you so much if you've subscribed. We recently hit 500 subscribers, little tiny milestone here on YouTube. So if you wanna help the channel grow, that is the best way to do it. Please subscribe and help us hit that thousand, thousand subscriber mark. YouTube's already got ads on all my videos. So please help us get to a thousand. Um, we also have a Patreon page and that is what helps to fund these videos, pay for our internet, my time and energy out here making these videos for you guys because we really want to spread the word about agroforestry. So please check out our Patreon, lots of exclusive benefits up there for you as well.